What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Make sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. So the Highlander reboot with Henry Cavill has been in the works for about a year now, and Henry keeps getting screwed over in roles. However, he's had some victories. Most recently, he's, he's going to be Warhammer. He's got that trailer for Ungentlemanly Warfare, which looks great, and he's had this reboot. And I would be worried about it, except for the fact that it's with the John Wick director, all of them and uh he really sounds like he likes like all things he's a nerd so of course he knows the material so i trust him more than most people to mess with it same thing with the stunt uh choreographer because obviously the director will also be some of the it'll be the john wick four choreographer so it's gonna be great here we have henry cavill reveals highlander reboot will delve deeper into the lore and takes a big swing yes there will be sword puns Highlander Reboot will explore the lore of Immortals deeper than previous movies and TV series, adding more depth to the story. Dear God, don't make them aliens like they did in the second movie. Uh, The script for Highlander Reboot is described as extraordinary and may feature connections to the original franchise and TV series. Original franchise? Uh TV series? I'll be honest. I never watched it. I tried, and I'm sure you there are the fans. Was not a a fan of the, uh, the actor for Duncan McCloud. Just wasn't for me. Henry Cavill and director Chad Stileski, of course, for John Wick fame, are willing to take a big swing with the movie, even if it means audiences might hate it, which is a 50 50 these days. So, Highlander lead Henry Cavill has teased the upcoming reboot, which is now finally happening, uh, happening rather, after several years of exciting updates. Yeah, it's been a while from the director. Speaking recently with Josh Horowitz, Cavill kept some things close to his chest regarding the Highlander project, but did reveal that the reboot will go much deeper on the lore. He said, I'm going to have to answer that very carefully. I was a Highlander fan. Uh, They were great, fun movies. Obviously, I watched them when I was a lot younger and since rewatched, but also the TV show. I really enjoyed the lore behind it, that sort of sense of a tragic warrior with more of a story to tell than just a cool guy with a sword doing cool things. And this goes even deeper than that. Now, obviously, the first movie with Christopher Lambert did go pretty deep, basically followed him as an immortal throughout the centuries, losing everyone, constantly battling for the prize until, obviously, it's just him and the Kurgan. So there is a lot of room to go even deeper. I do like the mythology. I just, in the second one, they make them aliens from another planet. In the first one, it's better to just keep it mysterious. We don't know where the immortals come from. So uh, interesting to see where they go. And the fact that he even brought up the TV series just shows you how deep Henry goes, um, you know, with lore. You just have to be careful. Sorry, my brother. I went deep. I went too deep. You never want to go too deep. It's, a, it's almost like going full other things. Describing the script for Highlander script as extraordinary, Cavill teased that the reboot could feature connections to the original. Yeah, uh, I can't speak to how much the Highlander film goes into the TV show at the moment. What they've done so far and what we're doing with the development of the script is extraordinary. I think people are going to be really, really pleased. And I believe his attention to detail will... You'll see. Uh, While keeping details of the Highlander reboot under wraps, Cavill did promise that the movie will be a big swing with both himself and Chad Stileski willing for audiences to hate the movie in their pursuit of trying something unexpected. Big swings are important. You play it safe and you go, eh, it was fine. But you take a big swing. People love it or they hate it. And sometimes hating it is just as good. Oh, only because Henry says that am I not going to, because that was dangerously co- close to a Ryan Johnson of subverting expectations and liking it when half the audience doesn't like it. I think in this case, only because Henry has so much cred built up with the fans and myself personally, I won't speak for everyone of his defending and explaining the difference between toxicity and passion. I think they can do something new while still being faithful moderately to at least the first one for sure. And you start throwing in sequels and f- other franchise spinoffs and the, the TV shows, and I don't know. But at least Henry and Chad, the directors, I have faith that they can make a decent first Highlander movie that does go into some of the deeper pathos. And dear God, at least Henry will be the star of a movie for once instead of getting these sloppy seconds he keeps getting. Fire your agent, though, seriously. that The Rock's ex-wife is the well, still The Rock's agent, by the way, and Henry's. And if you haven't noticed what movie's go to The Rock instead of Henry when he's well overdue. His representation matters. It's the only time I really ever say representation matters. And that's your agent in Hollywood. Get someone that prefers you over their ex-husband. I'm just saying. So, 
Thank you. Let me know what you think of Highlander. Let me know what you think of Henry as Highlander. As uh, I'm assuming they're going with Connor McLeod and not a new hybrid version of him and Duncan from the TV show. Yeah, I knew his name. But uh, there it is. Uh, the biggest problem with this remake that I can see is if they don't use Queen as a soundtrack. I don't care. Queen, the soundtrack, Who Wants to Live Forever with the Princes of the Universe. It is that movie. I, you can't have one without the other. I really hope they find a way to include Queen. Other than that, man, that's it. Man, ladies, bros, guys, dudes. All right. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And, well. Well. Bye.